can't tell if that's supposed to be a piebald. He looks like he's a piebald. Alright, here's what we're doing. Alrighty, hello and welcome to the channel, and for today's video we're back in the Rockies continuing the missions and shooting the random animals we come across. It is now currently 6 in the morning. We got here at the end of the last video and took us a little nap, and now we got a bunch of rock climbing gear to take up. Not really a whole lot, I guess. Uh, repelling gear. Sorry, not rock climbing gear. There's no anchors, are there? Uh... Hmm. So I'm having a wee bit of a problem here. Let's see if I can, uh... Okay, I'm having a total brain fart here. I'm trying to figure out, um... Okay. I can work with a door. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm... I, I, I can't seem to collect this stuff. Uh, okay. Rebooting. Oh, I think this is my first time actually seeing rain here. Alrighty, uh, let's try this again. I think I already did the whole welcome to the channel, guess what we're doing nonsense. Uh, it is raining, which is kind of nice. Let's get inside and see if we can collect this gear finally. Um... The gear is in here. I packed it into ah. a couple of backpacks. It shouldn't be too heavy. Okay, I'm guessing because I was already in render range when I started the game or something. I don't freaking know. Can I... You got everything? Hey! There's a good rock face nearby that Sammy can use to teach her beginners. If I recall correctly, you also have some mountain climbing experience. <laughs> I get it. Those mountain goats aren't easy to catch. There's some good anchoring points at the top of the rock face. If you can get those ropes nice and secure, it'll save Sammy some time and help the class. All right, the map isn't really high detail enough, but I believe that's... Yeah, I can see the face. So when I get to the intersection, I need to hang a left. Uh, if I continue walking, pretty much dead ahead of me. Oh my lord, I... <laughs> I just walked right up on... I oh know. Uh, we got there. Little three. There's a doe. There's another little three. So that was interesting. I'm pretty sure they were in a rest zone. And I was just scanning with my binos, and the spot animal thing came up. And then they, they went alert, got up, and started traveling. Which I'm not going to say that's weird behavior, but... I don't know, I guess it must be the end of their zone? Yeah, because now are they coming back? Oh, well. Okay. That, that, yeah, just, we're gonna walk. Let's, let's get the mission done. I'll probably drop my scope off this rifle just in case I have to save myself from a potentially angry bison. Wait, what was that? That was too small to be a, right there. Oh, a bear. I was going to say, that's too small to be a bison. Fantastic looking. Mountain goat territory, right? Maybe? Probably? Is that a bush or something by that tree? It's a little tree. God, this is such a beautiful area. Truth be told, I've wanted to start an extreme sports group here for a long time. But the old chairman of the board pushed back against anything that wasn't hunting. He was very old-fashioned, though. The patriarch of the Simpkins Electronics Empire. He even forced his vegan animal rights activist son, Timothy, to come with him on hunting trips to Africa. Accused the activist of brainwashing his son. The family reputation around here dropped quite dramatically when my dad caught Timothy drinking and dealing drugs inside the reserve. Simpkins actually used his power on the board to keep my dad quiet. But the next time my dad caught Tim in the reserve, he wasn't just dealing drugs. He had been poaching. Dad called it in without even telling Simpkins Sr. Of course, he was furious. Tried to get my dad fired, actually. But all credit to the board. 
they stuck with my old man. All these changes I want to make will hopefully account for the loss of the Simpkins' money and influence. This is just the start, too. I'm proposing snowboarding and extreme skiing for the winter. I've got some friends who I'd love to invite over to shoot some videos. Could be fun, don't you think? Anyway, if the repelling goes well and makes a little money, I think the old folks on the board will start to come around. That looks great. I doubt I could have done a better job myself. Don't let the ropes down. We don't need them getting all tangled up. I really appreciate your help with this one. It's been an uphill battle to get to this point, and I'm disappointed that I can't be there to run the classes myself. If I'm being honest, I have a lot invested in the classes going well. There's still some people on the board who are friends with the old chairman, and it seems pretty clear that they don't like me proposing new ideas. Anyway, I'll let Sammy know that we're good to go. I trust her to take care of it. Look at all that. Hey, so listen. There might be a situation going on at the moment and I could really use your help to check it out. It's not just gold and silver mining that took place out here. Even more recently, there was a working uranium mine in the area. When the reserve was established, we took responsibility for keeping it safe. Anyway, the old uranium mine is very rarely a problem. But recently, it appears that one of our neighbors... A guy I went to school with, actually, has been spotted camping out around the mine. His name's Bobby Joe Jefferson. He's normally just a nuisance, driving his quad bike around and setting up little shooting ranges with tin cans. He makes the deer and turkeys extra skittish, so the hunters hate him. Can you head over to the mine and see what's going on? He's allowed to hike and camp there, but I don't want him going anywhere near the entrance itself. All right, I got to make a point here. Seriously? That doesn't look secure at all. <laughs> I, I I don't know much about repelling, but that just looks like someone stuck a bundle of rope to the side of a log. But, okay. Alright, so we gotta go find a mine. God, just, just... Look at that view. Oh my god, this is so beautiful. Alright, uh, where am I going? Where's my mouse? Okay, it looks like my best bet is to actually head south to the trail and just go ahead and take the trail back. Alright, so back to the trail, which is down there. Is there a fast way down? Of course there is. It's a cliff. Gravity always allows for a fast way down. Oh boy. Uh, no, maybe not that way. Yep, okay. I guess this way. That might be too fast. Let's find a slightly slower path. Oh no. There are some cultures that believe Sasquatch could be magical. Do you think he doesn't just stack rocks, but makes them float on occasion? I wonder. Oh, wow, I didn't even actually see the pile back. Oh, both, all these piles are bad. Yep. Hey. Wait, alert. How are you alert already? Now, I'm looking at this thing. At first, I was like, oh, look at that boat. Look at that big horn. But if I didn't know any better, that almost looks like a piebald mountain elk or Rocky Mountain elk right there. Is there another one right there? There is. Now, the downside is the wind is going pretty much dead at them, so I'm going to have to circle around to the left here. I do want to grab these guys before I get to the mine, though. Is he a piebald? Right? That looks... Oh. Okay, leg twitch. There was another one behind this tree over here. All right, I'm going to circle around this way and see what I can see. Okay, wee bit of a problem. What? Oh, he's... Is that him back there? Oh, that's him right there. What just happened? This bush somehow got in the way. Well, here's what I'm thinking I might end up doing. I think I need to get his attention and get him to come to me. Well, that worked like a charm. So he's the one on the right. I think I have time to verify. Oh, yeah. Yep. What? 
Wait. What? What just happened? Was the wind strong? Uh, the wind must have been strong enough to carry it off? Should I try and call him back? I'm guessing I horribly missed. Uh, didn't account for the wind enough? That's probably it. Oh, but where did they go? Oh, jeez. That's the three. There they are. That should be the four right there. Are you sure that's not a... That, man, that looks like a piebald. Warning call. Alright, I gotta try and get that guy over the cliff. I really think this one over here is a piebald. God, if that one in the back would just get up a little bit closer. Let's try a little, uh... A little sun eliminator. Waste some money, right? Now I got the four up here, but I can't get the... Now the piebald's hiding. See what I mean? Sun eliminator does absolutely nothing. Oh, maybe. I got him up out of my wind. I can't tell if that's supposed to be a piebald. He looks like he's a piebald. Alright. Here's what we're doing. And that is the benefit of having a lever action. And it looks like both went down. Holy heck. Now I got the four, but my main thing, I wanna see if that was a piebald. So let's see here, I got one shot there. Oh, don't tell me I missed the second one. Uh, that was a non, okay, that's fine though, right? Cause that was the non, uh oh. Well, I guess I'll see. Okie dokie, so... Oh, wow. Okay. Could this guy have fallen in a worse position? And he is a 38460, so... Pretty massive. And that was a right lung liver shot. 1,300 cash, and he is a gold. Track for 0.79 miles. Okay. Uh, not sure how that one worked. Uh, we'll take him for the money. Now, where the question really comes up is where's the other one? Because uh, I've already been tracking it for a while, and it doesn't seem like I got a vital hit on it. Like, that uh, hunting pressure was misleading. That was only one animal. It was bleeding out. He got down to, I think, 25 or something. So I'm going to just go track him for a little bit real quick and see if I can't figure out where he went. Get, get the minos up, get the minos up. That's not, that's the three. It's not the one I shot, though. Mm. Oh, yeah, there's a bear right there. <laughs> Look at that. Bear. There he is. The one in the back. Okay. Down. All right. Holy hell. Let's go get us our uh, elk. I'm, I'm going to be so pissed. It, this, it's not even a pie ball, right? I'm willing to bet. I just thought it might be one by the looks of it. And then something about this scene goes, look how beautiful it is. And who cares? God, this is such a gorgeous game. Why can't there be more games like this? Not necessarily hunting, but games that have this kind of visual impact. That looked like it hurt. All right, was it all worth it? It is a piebald. Wow. And I saved it with the second shot, because the first shot... Oh, I was too low. I thought I was too high. Little silver, 266, but it is a piebald. So we're going to save you. 1.24 mile track. Heck. All right, saved it with the second shot. Back on mission. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, 
I'm getting my way to the mine shaft, but on my way there, I spotted these uh, does over here. And I got me a call from a buck somewhere over here. Oh, wait. Is that him? Ooh. That's not a half bad looking one. All right. Um, there's a bush right here. If I can sneak over to that bush, maybe I can call him in and get him with, uh, actually get a bow kill. Where was that guy earlier? Because I'm pretty sure this is the same hillside that I just got involved with these elk in. Not quite sure what's happening. His head's down. It says he's traveling, but I would say he's eating. But he is getting closer. At this rate, those does are going to come in first. No, he was over here. All right, well, that's movement. That's a... You're going to make me do it with a rifle, aren't you? What's wrong with this guy? Here he comes. Come on, buddy. Come on. You're almost here. Seriously? Here he comes. Come on. Alright, wh where are you going? What? There he is. Come on. He does not want to come in any closer. That's interesting. You get like the moose on Yukon that'll pretty much walk right up on you. Did he just go back to eating? That's 48 yards. I could potentially make this shot. I don't think I can. He eats just too hard. If, if he was up on top of the ridge a bit more, maybe. I just, I can't see enough of his body. You know what? Gotta try sometime, right? Oh my lord. Still have eyes on, still have eyes on. Can I get the binos up? Maybe I don't. Wait. Oh my lord, I got him. Whoo! Only because he's a four. Only because I know he's not he's not gonna be anything more than a big goal, but Still, that was sketchy. He's, what, back behind this tree here? I don't think he ran that far. Oh, there he is right there on the ground. Look at that. All right, let's see here. Oh, the wind didn't carry it quite as hard as I thought. So I just missed the lung. He would have been a 388, a pretty good size gold, but no vital organ. Dang it. Oh, well, well, 800 cash, and that was a 53-yard shot, and gives me the idea that, man, this, uh, this longbow can actually take quite a bit of crosswind. I keep, I don't know why, maybe it's because of the grain, just the fact that it's heavier. I, 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 I yeah, no, I guess that would make sense, right? The bolts are, uh, not the bolts, but the arrows are heavier than their, cr uh, compound bow counterparts, so maybe they're less affected by wind? I don't know. I am not enough of an archer to say anything about that, but that's definitely when what's getting me is I either don't account for the wind enough or I account for the wind too much. All right, enough hunting pressure in this area. I think I deleted the elk zone. Yep, pretty sure I did, unless that was this up here. Oh no, I did not delete the elk zone. So now I should probably go ahead and make my way to that mine already. Okay, first things first. Let's make sure that the mine itself is still secure. Well, the guard is off duty. Oh. A trail camera? I've used these for work and for hunting before. This one shouldn't be here, though. We don't want hunters so close to the mine. Grab the camera. Um, okay. Another trail camera. Bobby Joe doesn't have a permit to hunt here. Is he poaching? Uh, this looks intact, at least. That's got to be a good sign. But what looks intact? What security? I don't really understand what's going on with the cameras, but at least the entrance is secure. Let's go find his camp, shall we? <sighs> Hopefully that's the last one. Pick him up and I'll put him in our lost and found when I can take him from you. It was actually Remy that called this one in. He doesn't know who Bobby Joe is, but I knew who it was as soon as Remy described him. 
I, I mean, I guess a cave-in is pretty secure, huh? Oh. Or is it... I always forget that I have a flashlight. Not that that seems to be helping, but no, that that's, uh... Yeah, that's secure, right? There's no way in here. Okay. Oh, the camp's back down by the lake. Of course it is. That looks like his camp. Any sign of him? Always check the trees for crazy rednecks. You never know. Binoculars? Maybe he was hunting. Oh, I did it again. Rifle cartridges. Uh, that's not good news. There's a thermos. He's been up all night, I'm guessing. How about the fact the light's still on? Oh. That's our sign. Pick it up, would you? A Secret journal. Uranium mining. What? Maybe this will show us why he's out here. <laughs> I'll be honest. I never credited Bobby Joe with this much imagination in high school. Replant the sign, and we're done here for now. You know what makes this extra weird? He actually has done some detective work. Enough to convince himself to camp here. Okay, okay. Hang, hang, hang on. One, okay, listen, listen, whoever is barking at me. Um, what? A sign? Where did I pick up a sign? Was it... Um, okay, so as far as the journal goes, I am not going to read through all that. Uh, here, pause, and there, pause. Now you'll have the ability to read all of it. Okay, he thinks the government is involved with keeping... I'm sorry, I saw a cave-in. What, what did they do? Move the boulders out of the way and, and every time they need access? Or did he go down there to investigate and then there was a cave-in? And he's actually trapped down there. And the longer we drag... Oh, maybe I should quit hunting and finish these missions because there could be a guy in that cave waiting for me to rescue him or something. Um, but I can't do the thermos, can I? Because I, I screwed that up. And that's weird. It says interact. Where, where am I? The sign's back up? Great. This mine has never been a problem before, but let's not take any chances. Me and my dad have been dealing with Bobby Joe for years. But this is new. I know he's a nuisance, but I always felt sorry for him. He had a pretty tough upbringing. I don't want to call the police, but I have to. He's armed and known for making poor choices. Um, 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 ooh, you get too close to that stuff in there. You start seeing things like the shadow of a floating sign. Uh it would appear that it's not just the neighbors that are making questionable calls today. Sometimes folks from the city will drive out here to get away from work or their personal lives or whatever happens to be bothering them. The problem is that sometimes, quite often actually, people wander into the wilderness without a clue of how to survive if things go wrong. Not, not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. And based on a couple of phone calls I've had from the hospital today, I think that someone has made a mess and could use some help. I was going to check in on them myself, but I need to coordinate with the police on this Bobby Joe thing, and you're already really close by. Can you head over to the campgrounds nearby and check in on them? The phone calls were sporadic at best. As far as I can tell, this professional yoga and meditation expert has led a group of accountants from Denver into the wilderness on some sort of spiritual retreat. She took their cell phones away from them and had them eating wild flowers and berries. Some of them got sick and have gone directly to the hospital. I know that we're not the reason why this happened, but it could look very bad for us if anyone gets seriously hurt. I'd appreciate if you'd hustle and check it out. So, if I understand this correctly, you're suggesting you don't eat random things you can't identify out of the forest? Who'd have thunk? Uh, but, seeing as the game is clearly already having some issues, um, we're gonna have to pick this up another time. So, gonna end this one here, and that being said, there's buttons if you liked it, buttons if you didn't, and as always, buttons to push, until next time. And hopefully next time I'll, I guess now I know why I didn't see the sign that I picked up. I wonder what the sign says. Keep out, all visitors welcome, careful of falling rocks, mule deer may be radioactive and attack. Hmm.